Hi team, Snowflake Dan here with you. Today we're gonna to be covering over how to add a new account underneath your Snowflake organization. As some of you may not know, you can have multiple Snowflake accounts underneath one organization. So you can have maybe a dev and then you could have a production account. So let's see how we could do this in Snowflake right now. So here you'll see on the page, we have a tutorial. One of the requirements of this tutorial to do is you can't be on a trial account. You have to be either on an on-demand, which means pay month to month, or a capacity agreement, which means you are paying on a contract. So the first thing we'll have to do is copy the code right here to enable what's known as the org admin role. So let's head to Snowflake. Let's go to projects and start a new worksheet. Then we'll paste that code in there. You'll notice here, we'll use the account admin role to do this, and then we'll grant the org admin role to, the, to a user. So in this case, my user is Daniel Wilzak. Then I'll simply copy all of that and hit run. And now we can see if we go to the bottom left-hand corner and we switch our role to the org admin role we now have access to, we can go back to the admin page and we'll notice that now we have a new tab called accounts. And in there, you'll be able to see all your accounts. So if this is the first time you've ever done this before, uh, you'll probably only have one inside of here. But if you wanna add another one, you'll simply click the plus accounts button. You'll select a specific region. So if maybe I wanted to deploy on Azure, I can. And let's say we wanted to do it somewhere in the United States. So let's go with Central US, and then we'll click Next. It'll require me to give an account name. So this is the account name that will follow your organization name. So in this case, maybe I call it Dev. I give it the first username, which I'll give my own name as to follow what I've shown before. And then I'll add a password, password again. And then I'll put my email. And we'll click create account. From here, Snowflake will go and actually go and provision this new account. So you'll see here, you'll get an account URL and you'll notice now I have my organization name, which is Easy Connect, dash, and then the new account name. Additionally, you could use the account locator URL, but this just seems a lot easier to utilize. So <clears throat> all in all, this might take a few minutes to provision. So if this URL doesn't work right away, as you can see here, just give it about five to 10 minutes. The account is actually being created in the background. But once that account is created, you'll be able to log into it like you would your normal Snowflake account. So this has been provisioning a new account underneath your organization. Thanks for watching.